Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Beast. <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2000 BC, the album, Dad, Am. Hold up, wait a minute, ain't got no two day fruit day, get on the floor if you got that booty guru. Okay, let's get right in this video. Um, now, Y'all know I do a lot of funny videos over here and stuff, but this Jaclyn Hill thing has kind of, it, it's, it's taken a horrible turn, right? And so I need to kind of do a little bit of a serious video on here today. Um, so I just want to make that clear that going into this, this is not going to be like, you know, a funny ha-ha video. This is a very serious video. And um, I just want you guys to know that, that not every video that I do over here is really, really funny. I mean, some of them we do need to take seriously. So before I get into this video, I want to say... Um, there's a lot of speculation out there. There's a lot of things that are going on um, with Jaclyn Hill and the lipsticks, and people just don't know really what is going on. They're saying that there's spots on it, and they're saying that there's hairs on it, and things like that. Now, because of that, I um, reached out and hired an investigator to actually go in disguise to the factory warehouses to find out really what is going on behind the scenes. And today, I have brought you that very exclusive information. So with you today, I have PB the Flying Chihuahua that has gone into disguise into the Jaclyn Hill warehouses. Um, PB, what did you find? He said, hairs. It wasn't mine, I swear. They look like, uh, no, he said it wasn't mine. I swear I wasn't eating the lipsticks. So anyway, let's get into this Jaclyn Hill video, everybody. You get a lipstick, you get a lipstick. Nobody wants a lipstick. Did y'all think I was gonna do a serious video about Jaclyn Hill? Hell no. Everybody's putting out videos and I'm living for it, okay? Um, I wanna say thank you Shay for shouting me out in her video. And Raw Beauty Christie's putting some videos out. Everybody's putting some videos about this. But not the big beauty influencers. Oh, no, 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 no. Not all those people out there. They're all like, oh, we love it. We love it so much. But you ain't using it, are you? You, ain't, you, you are not using it whatsoever. So we're going to get into this today because Jaclyn Hill has finally addressed the drama. Is it what we want? Is it not what we want? I don't know. So have you guys seen these pictures that have been going around the last 24 hours? Okay. First, there were the crystallized bumps. Now, I do love a good crystal, okay? If you saw my video that I did on Toddy Westbrook, apparently she got rid of the Jeffree Star backdrop because she wanted healing crystals. I love healing crystals, too. I just don't want them when I buy a lipstick or a lippy or a lip balm or a lip scrub or anything else. And I have used all of those things, so no, I don't want them crystallized. I don't care how hot it got, and I don't care how cold it got, and I really don't care what your excuses are. There aren't any good excuses except for we're going to recall it and find out what's been going on. And this should never be being addressed on any kind of social media. Poor business, okay? I'm so over this. It's just like one mistake after another mistake after another mistake after another mistake. So she's going to address it today. Now, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot, all right? Um, I want to throw this picture up first. Raw Beauty Christie, she threw this picture up yesterday. Here, I'm going to uh, put up her tweet here for a second. And she said, all, because this was when she was kind of like telling people that she was going to come out with the video. So here it is. And she said, all I can say is, what the F? We don't say that word over here. Christie, you need to put 25 cents. I mean, you got some coin girl, $25. You need to put $25 up in the cuss jar, okay? I'm just saying. So anyway, now I want to give you guys a close-up of this picture because Jacqueline Hill's making all kinds of... She even retweeted this. Okay, can you imagine? She retweeted... She retweeted this, and I'm going to tell you what she had to say about it in a second, but let's just look at a close-up of that for a second, okay? I have one thing to say about that lipstick. You need to shave off your uh, chin hairs there, Lippy. Uh, what is going on? Okay, now I've heard of a lot of weird things in my time of being on a drama channel, okay? I've heard about uh, pubic hairs up and things that were proven to be true. I've heard about finger uh, nail prints and, uh, you know, eyeshadow palettes. I've heard of this. I've heard of that. I have never heard of so many things being wrong with lipsticks, Okay. And for those five people out there that got the lipsticks and have let me know that they are so happy with the lipsticks they got, congratulations to you, okay? Because for the five people that reached out to me and said my lipsticks were perfect, I swear to God I have a hundred other people in my DMs right now. Uh, this one girl, she sent me these pictures. She was like, I got like eight uh, lipsticks and like only one of them was okay. All seven of them were horrible. She sent me pictures of all of them. I literally could just put picture up after picture after picture, but I don't have to because everybody's tweeting them out. So you can just put in Jaclyn Cosmetics or Jaclyn Hill and it'll just pull up 
picture after picture after picture. So she needed to be addressing this, right? We know that she has. Well, now it's coming out with all these pictures that looks like there's hairs on your chinny chin chin. I'm just saying, okay? I would be so weirded out, first of all. If I got a lipstick and there was hair in it, I would be so completely weirded out by that. I'd be like, why and who? I wouldn't even want to know why. Okay, the why wouldn't be important to me. I would want to know whose hair was on my lipstick and where on their body did it come from that it ended up on a lipstick that was in a tube that was closed in a package and sent to me and why is it still on there? That is some weirdness, okay? And I don't know why we're talking about, oh, this is normal. No, it's not normal. There's nothing normal about it. It's weird. It's so weird. And so is this cut, but I love it. <laughs> this was in my five below haul that I just did for my review channel, so go check it out. It actually wasn't $5. But anyway, um, so it's just so weird at this point, right? And the whole thing is just being handled so poorly. Jacqueline, if you want to know how to handle it, go watch my video I did yesterday. So yesterday in my video, I said, she needs to come out. And she should have done it right away, but she didn't. She needs, none of these people ever listen. They, they all want to come for the drama channels, right? But they never listen to what we say. She should have come out and did a ten, two to three minute video and said, listen, I want to thank you guys for supporting my dream. It really means the world to me. You, you guys know that I've been coming out with Jacqueline Cosmetics for five to 10 years now. And the fact that you have hung along that long to wait and see what I was going to put out there in the world, it just, I, I just cannot tell you how the overwhelming happiness that I have inside my heart. Unfortunately, this is not my dream realized. I am so embarrassed, ashamed, and unhappy with the results that I have sent to you. This is not what I was told. These are not the samples that I saw. And I am going to make sure by Monday that I have an answer for you and we are gonna to get to the bottom of this. Period, end of story. Not making some excuses that you've been using them for months and months and months and your customer service people are all over it and file a customer service complaint. No, you need to do a total recall on all of them and you need to go back there and you need to regroup and sit down and figure it out. This is not how you run a business, period, okay? And I ain't running no makeup business, and I'll tell you why. This is why. People for years have been like, you should come out with your own lipsticks. You should come out, or lip chap, lip balms. You should come out with your own chapsticks. No, ma'am, I'm not. I know. As soon as I come out with a chapstick, and I call it Peter's Chapstick, or Peter's Lippy, or whatever I'd call it. Who'd care all, all day long? Anyway, nobody would buy them. If, as soon as I came out with it, there'd be some scandal on it. You know what I mean? This is why. If you're going to do something like this, you need to do it well. There's a lot of people out there that are doing makeup and coming out with it. But now, and I might make this video tomorrow. Oh, she got Marlena Stell. Now listen, girl, you done lit a fire under old Marlena Stell back in the day, and she's coming back because she's telling some truths on you, okay? She's got Marlena Stell coming for her. She's got uh, Shay and Robbie Christie. She and Robbie Christie's ethical. So she comes on video, and we know that. Shay, ethical. We know that these people, Marlena Stell, she's ethical. We know that. Okay, these are not people that are getting into problematic drama left and right. Have they had a little bit? Sure, they've had a little bit. But by and large, these are ethical makeup people that are coming out. And she is still not really addressing it in, a, in, a, in an appropriate manner. So this is what she said. So the first thing she said was, here, I'll put it up here. My team and I are working very hard on finding out exactly what is causing the grittiness and bumpy texture on some of my lipsticks. I am so sorry to see some of you dissatisfied with my product. I will make it right for you and learn from this mistake. That's a promise. This is not about uh, we, uh, us wanting you to learn from your mistake. Yes, that would be great. I think that would be fantastic. This is about doing this in a professional manner. And again, I will say, I do not understand why YouTubers will take to Twitter, take to Instagram. She's been on her Instagram story today saying that she's all stressed out and stuff like that. And I, I feel for the girl. I'm sure she is, okay? Uh, I didn't actually, somebody was telling me about it. So I haven't watched it. I think she said something about, I don't know that she's just, it's, uh, she's overwhelmed. I'm sure she is. I would be too, okay? But that's why you, you handle this and it, where are the PR people? Where are the marketing people, okay, that should be addressing all of these issues? You know, where are the people that sit down with her in a boardroom and say, okay, Jacqueline, this is how we need to handle it? You know what I mean? Like, this is just, there are so many things that people are, like, allegedly saying about these lipsticks at this point. A lipstick, okay? I, honest to God, when I did, like, my first video saying that she came out with 20 shades of nude lipsticks or whatever, I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. I thought, Okay, this release isn't, I mean, how could, how could it be this botched up that literally five or six days later, we're still all talking about this? Like, this is crazy, okay? Now, I do want to show you that I reached out to Jacqueline Cosmetics, and I didn't buy any lipsticks, but I did tell them, 
and uh, about what I was doing, and they they sent me, they overnight shipped me. I, I don't know why you can't get your lipsticks on time, but they did overnight ship me um, a, a a gift for thanking of them so nicely from the same factory that makes the lipsticks, and that is this Golden Girls Chia Pet that you too can grow your own hair. <laughs> Something I bought for my review channel and never reviewed. So anyway, underneath here, people are, uh, they're like, they, oh my God, they put, oh my God, somebody put a gift of a Chia Pet. I didn't even know. Okay. <laughs> well, now it looks like I was an original, but I did come up with it. Anyway, um, somebody said, learning is not enough. You got to compensate your customers after spending their hard earned money on a defective product. And she does. She said, if you have an issue with it, even though a lot of people aren't getting, you know, emails responded to, but they will eventually. She said, if you want to return the product, you can return it and then I'll give you full price, whatever. But then some people are getting emails that are saying, send us a picture of what is defective about it, which is interesting because a lot of times when you buy things, if you do want to return it because it's defective, they will say, send us a picture and we'll, you know, send it back. But they aren't going to just like give you, I mean, you can't just call it up and use it for the weekend and be like, hey, I'm out with my Jaclyn Hill cosmetics lipstick and it's perfectly fine. And then call them up on Monday and be like, yeah, I want my money back. Can't do all that. Okay. So that's probably why they're doing some of that. Somebody said she does. They get a refund and a lippy. And uh, somebody else said, not really. Someone posted this on another thread. They offered a refund shipping on a future purpose. Oh, this is interesting. So somebody, uh, she posted this on her in, uh, Twitter and it's uh, Jacqueline Cosmetics and it's like an email. And it says to this, to this uh, person, thanks for your email. We love hearing from you, from ya. We love, the, even the emails are so unprofessional. Have you read like the things they say when they say, oh, your merchandise is leaving the house. And no, okay, not classy. I, why don't you put some emojis on there? I am sorry to hear you would have preferred a, a reship. Regrettably, we are regrettably we are unable to process a reship at this time due to the product being out of stock. Well, that makes sense. We will be happy to refund you the shipping costs on a future purchase for these items or an alternative shade. I have noted your account accordingly. Oh, well, that's not really what Jacqueline's saying, is it? Some, only some lipstick. Somebody else says, and then it goes on and on. All these people have things to say. Um, somebody said, I don't get why it's even a, a big, a huge deal because after it's applied, it's beautiful. Mine aren't gritty though. And somebody else said, it's a big deal because people are receiving their lipsticks with plastic and hair on them. Amen. If they were cheap, I would just throw it away and not give a shit, but they're expensive ASF. We know what that is because I'm dad. Anyway, and the way the first replied to people and the way she replied, first replied to people was not okay. And this was the thing. There was a girl that she had like come out to and she deleted her tweet very quickly, but it was harsh. It was, the, the girl had worn her lipsticks and then said, or showed her lipsticks and said, oh my God, I'm so excited I got the lipsticks. Two days later, she had said, I think her girl, the girl's name is Veronica. Two days, Veronica. Do you remember that song back in the day? Oh my God, I love that song so much. But anyway, and then two days later, um, the girl posted a picture and she said, what's wrong with my lipsticks? And Jacqueline like came at her attack and she came at her and she said well you love basically you loved me two days ago and now you hate me liar and the girl was like oh she got attacked well then Jacqueline deleted the tweet she said I thought I was a little harsh a little yeah honey you're a businesswoman, okay? And like I said in my video the other day, where are you taking businesswoman lessons Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion no okay so then the next thing she says is also, I have apologized to the first girl who tweeted me about her lipstick not being perfect. I reacted very unprofessionally, and that's never my intention. I always want you guys to be comfortable sharing your concerns with me. Thank you very much. And uh, so some of the, the, the people underneath here, this, girl, this person said, girl, you are doing your best. That's why you have the customer service team. Don't put the stress all on yourself. Well, and I understand that, and I agree. But the thing is, is that it's her name on the brand, and when you have your name on a brand, it is about you. I mean, it's not like she can just go, what? This is Morphe. She is probably like, I don't care what those people said. I don't care if they call me Jacqueline Morphe Hill. I should have stayed with her, Linda, all day long. I should have never come over here. This is the stupidest thing I ever did. I should have stuck with Morphe. She's probably so pissed that she got out of Morphe. Somebody said, can we talk about the fact that tons of us never got confirmation emails and now your customer service team blamed it on us typing your emails wrong? They need training, spell check, and a better excuse. And it goes on and on and on. Okay, what did this person say? They said, you are being professional. You're being professional by realizing these things and learning from them. You have a good heart with the best intentions in mind. Just see these criticisms as a way to push to do a better for your brand for the future. I pray you are blessed throughout your entire journey. I, I think 
think Jacqueline Hill is a good person. I really do. I, I, I don't think that she's a nasty person. I think she's a good person. I think she deserves good things. I think she's not handling the situation appropriately as a businesswoman. Those are two completely different things, right? And that's where fandom is really, really a problem on YouTube. When you're talking about merchandise and you're talking about products and you're talking about major beauty products, we're not just talking about a YouTuber that you love and you follow their life and you follow them on Instagram and when they like your tweet, you're like, oh my God! We're not talking about that, okay? We're talking business. You wouldn't go to a McDonald's, okay, and order a Big Mac and get a fish sandwich, and you don't like fish sandwiches, you can't stand fish sandwiches, and there's five hairs on it, okay, that look like they came off your chinny chin chin. And you wouldn't sit there, and because Sally Jo, your aunt, works at McDonald's and go, girl, I love you, I just know you're trying to do your best, I'll eat this hairy fish sandwich. You would not eat a hairy fish sandwich, okay? It's not okay. I'm just saying. All these people that, like, won't hold Jacqueline accountable for all the screw-ups with this brand, kill me. If you love her, I like Jacqueline Hill. I do. I know it probably doesn't seem that way, but I do, okay? Therefore, I want the best for her. I want her to handle this appropriately. She's not squid. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the next tweet. So then, Robbie D. Christie, here, I'll put it up again. She put the hairy uh, lipstick up there. I mean, the fact that we are even talking about hairy lipsticks in 2019, okay? Which we find out they're not hairy here in a second. But the fact that we're talking about hairy lipsticks in 2000... <laughs> Jacqueline Hill's hairy lipsticks, that is what I'm going to title this video. Okay, the fact that we're talking about Jacqueline Hill's hairy lipsticks, okay, in 2019... <laughs> the Jaclyn Hill Harry Lipstick Scandal. Y'all dare me to make my video. People won't even come and watch it. They'll think it's so stupid. That, I'm titling it that. I don't care anymore, okay? I don't. If she don't care about these lipsticks, I don't care about the title of her videos. So she comes out after Raw Beauty Chrissy says, what, what's wrong with, she didn't say that, but she what the F is wrong with these Harry Lipsticks? Jacqueline puts this up here. She says, if any of you are receiving lipsticks like this, please know that this is not hair. My factory used brand new white gloves to do quality control and they shed all over the product, my product. She put a mean face. Mm, I'm mad. We switched to rubber gloves two days ago and we'll make sure this never happens again. <laughs> I feel so much better that when I'm out on this hot date tonight with my new lipstick, my man in my dreams will ask me why my lips are hairy. Oh, those are just white gloves. Don't worry about it. Girl, that ain't okay, okay? I mean, I know it's an excuse, but it's not okay. I know you think that white gloves shedding over lipsticks is better than hair, and it probably is. I'm just saying, okay? But it's still not okay. And now they switch to rubber gloves, which means that all the, gl the lipsticks are now gonna have, I don't know, smell like condoms or something. It's just a bunch of weirdness. Where are you making this? In some weird apartment in the middle of like nowhere, Kentucky? Like, girl, where are your lipsticks? And I only live two hours from Kentucky in Indiana. It ain't much better. So don't come for me and say I'm saying something. But girl, where are you manufacturing these lipsticks? In the trunk of your car? I'm like, seriously, what is going on, okay? And why is somebody twisting the lipstick up and touching it with a white glove? That is so weird. I don't want my lipsticks touched with a lip, any kind of glove, any kind of fingers, any kind of rubbery, rubbery condom. I don't, okay? Don't. <laughs> oh, my God. So then underneath here, Jen loves reviews. Hey, Jen, how are you? I love her. She says, I'm so curious the logistics of this. Were the quality control people touching the lips? Exactly! Touching the lipsticks with their gloves? Hmm, she says, with an emoji. And if they were looking for quality, wouldn't they see the fibers? I'm so confused. I love that she used the word fibers because I straight up would use the word hair, okay? White hair gloves. Glovey hairs. That lab sounds like it sucks. <laughs> Is that your professional review, Jen? I love that. Very unfortunate, she says. Um, and then somebody chimes in. It all seems very ske really sketchy. I agree that the quality control lab people should be educated in noticing the fibers their gloves leave on the lipsticks. And Jen says, I'm wondering why quality control is touching them in the first place. That's not cool at all. <laughs> and she said, uh, also, and this person says, why so many lipsticks? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody was in that lab overnight and they're like, ah! 
<laughs> they went crazy on the lippies. I'm gonna bend to this one and I'm gonna flatten that one and this one gets a bunch of hairs. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, my guess is, is it really isn't from gloves and that it's just one potential possibility of what it could be from however it sounds more to me like, can you imagine Jacqueline and she's like this. Cartier sunglasses, her Birkin and her hair down. She's like, somebody needs to tell me what it is. Uh, Miss Hill, um, um, we don't know. Um, it could be, well, we had to let this guy go. Um, he, he kind of have a weird obsession with lipsticks and, um, don't tell me it's hairs. Oh, no, 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 no. He, it wasn't his hairs. Uh, he just liked to uh, touch the lipsticks with his gloves. He wore these white, white gloves. Can you imagine that board, boardroom with Jacqueline Hill? Okay, I had to edit that out because I cussed like nobody's business in the cuss jar. Now, you know, YouTube don't like that. Okay, so uh, Jacqueline Hill says, uh, somebody asks, question, you knew this shed all over your product and still sent it out? And Jacqueline says, of course I didn't know. This didn't happen until we started making hundreds and thousands and I had no idea. Why would you choose just that one to respond to? I don't know. And then this person says, if there was proper uh, quality control, this would have been found. And this person says, Ethan, thank you. Uh, two of, out of four of my lipsticks have these fibers. They are all gritty now. The more I've used them, I'm so, so sad. I was so in love with uh, Isla. I wanted to use it forever because it was my exact lip shade, but better. Now I don't know if they are safe to use. Heartbreak. And then Jacqueline said, they are 100% safe and made in one of the best labs in the USA. <laughs> Girl. Um... What? <laughs> One of the best labs in the USA? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that's why everybody has problems with it. Where are they being touched, okay? I mean, I'm just asking. Who's touching them? In the factory, in the warehouse? Where are they going? Where are you keeping these lipsticks that somebody is touching them with rub white rubber gloves, okay? Best labs in the, no. This is embarrassing and infuriating that you're experiencing this. E and that's what you should say in a video. Email help at JacquelineCosmetics.com. I'll give you a refund and replace them for you. Oh, thank you that you reached out to that one person. And as Christy says, good luck. I've emailed twice and no response. And Jacqueline says, customer service will be back to you on Monday. Well, you know what? Since your lippies went out this weekend, you're still making coin over the weekend. Don't you think those customer service people should be working during the week or weekend? I'm just saying. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think that this is an appropriate response to this? Do you guys think that she'll ever come out and just address it on video or do it in an appropriate manner? I mean, it just seems like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. All for some hairy lipsticks. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.